spela. Talking and smoking is not my forte. I'm a typical man. I can do one thing at a time. Tremendous, I gotta say. I, maybe it's because I'm not used to cherry. I'm used to normal, straightforward tobaccos, blended tobaccos, and not. So maybe if I try a different cherry, you'll be even more blown away. But this is a great, great flavour. Mm. Anyway, so let's have a look. So when you're enjoying a pipe, sometimes. What I've got here is a selection of poems by William Wordsworth. Let's see what we think. This one's called Poems of the Fancy, which I thought was appropriate for pipe smoking. The mountains against heaven's grave weight rise up and grow to wondrous height. The air, as in a lion's den, is close and hot. And now and then, comes a tired and sultry breeze with a haunting and panting like a stifling of disease by the dews are lay the heat and the silence makes it sweet hush there is someone on the stir tis benjamin the wagoner who long hath trod the toilsome way companion of the night and day that fair off Sorry, that far off tinkling drowsy cheer mixed with a faint yet grating sound in a moment lost and found. The wane announces by whose side, along the banks of Rydal Mere, he paces on a trusty guide. Listen, you can scarcely hear. Hither he his course is bending, now he leaves the lower ground, and up the craggy hill ascending, many a stop and stay he makes. Many a breathing fit he takes, steep the way and wearisome, yet all the while his whip is dumb. The horses have worked with right good will, and so have gained the top of the hill. He was patient, they were strong, and now they smoothly glide along, recovering breath and pleased to win. Mm. Now, let's be honest, pipe smoking and poems to me, they're a team, they're a team, absolutely a team. I managed to get this pipe, you know, second hand, and it's a lovely little bowl. Gives you a good 30, 35, 40 minutes smoke, depending on how heavy you smoke. Mm. Delicious. Yes. Now, another one of my hobbies. I know most people drink white, which is fine. And I class myself as one of those people who enjoys a nice wine. But, I'm quite proud to say, I also make my own wines. And this is one of my homemade wines, made from uh, Gloucester grapes. It's very good. You can be about, about 40 kilos. Um, two years ago, I made... 92 bottles along with my fantastic girlfriend we, we double teamed it and it took us a long time to make the wine um, we're very proud of it and let's have a look here let me show you what it is fingers crossed it's going to look quite good look at the clarity on this this is homemade okay Right, this one is quite sweet and syrupy. Oh, yeah. It's 
not bad at all, my friends. So yeah, I thought that um, that's what I would do today. Just a really quick one. Smoke a little pipe, you know, pipe. Talk a little bit about some of the things I enjoy doing in my little abode here in Aberdeen, in sunny Wales, which isn't actually very sunny at the moment because we have like periods of, as usual of sun and rain, and the weather is never really that stable. We don't have rains very often like they have in Florida though, like the Dagners get. We certainly don't get it as cold as matches might get it in the winter. Sometimes we do, but not for the least of the last three years. Yes, yeah, so well again, it's, it's mostly sweetness, it's, it's very luscious, it's very syrupy, it's very, very almost thick and heady sweetness. I find it very, very luxurious with a little tiny kind of peppery edge to it. But that could also be because I've mixed it with my homebrew. We call this one Matt Nicky after our friends who gave us the grapes. And we got a couple of bottles to take to them. I don't know what the strength is and everything on it. I know if I drunk too, I'd probably be very, very drunk. The actual process of making wine is very, very difficult and very meticulous. Hygiene is obviously one of the highest things that you've got to be careful of. And the modern way of making wines is in essence to take away the natural yeast that's in the atmosphere so that we get complete control of it and not only that, it makes a stronger wine. If you were to use natural yeasts in the environment, it, it could be fine, there's not necessarily a problem with that, but it's not as strong as perhaps a more modern, uh, a more modern sort of yeast which can produce much stronger yields of alcohol for our modern tastes really. Well, that's it then. So I shall catch you again shortly.